Goodbye, Copenhagen. Goodbye, beautiful water. Ready, Freddy? Ready. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Kim, along with my husband, Vern. We are the two gym gypsies. Today, unfortunately, was our last day in Thailand. We had a 60-day visa, and the visa has officially expired. So today we are leaving and we are headed off to a new country. I was fighting a sinus cold during our trip, so please forgive me if I miss a few important clips that didn't get recorded, but I will add some captions along the way. Sorry guys. This is the part of traveling that is not fun. When you're not sure where you're going or how you're getting there, or if you're going to be on time. <clears throat> yeah, that's when the arguing starts. <laughs> We're going to Sri Lanka. We had actually booked tickets to this country in 2019, but when COVID came, we had to cancel the tickets and fly back to Canada. So here we are again. This is our second attempt to come to this wonderful country. After receiving your 30 day entry stamp through immigration, head over through customs and to the nearest money exchange. Make sure to exchange enough money in the airport to grab yourself a SIM card and to have cash to pay for your transfer to your next destination. After exchanging just enough money to take a bus to get us to Colombo, we headed out the exit doors of the airport. From here, the cheapest way to get to Colombo is to exit the airport, head straight through the gates and turn right and you will see a tuk-tuk stand. From here, negotiate with the tuk-tuk driver a price to take you to the Nagumbo main bus stop. You shouldn't be paying more than 200 Sri Lankan rupiah. When you arrive at the main bus stop, ask someone to help you find the air-conditioned bus from Nagumbo to Colombo. It was super cheap and it was easy to find. Everybody in Sri Lanka is very friendly and eager to help you find exactly what you're looking for. I believe the ride wasn't more than $2. You definitely wouldn't need to go to Colombo first, but we're going to Colombo initially so that we can get Vern a Sri Lankan driver's license so we don't have to worry about being stopped if we're renting scooters. This special driver's license is only available at the Automobile Association of Ceylon. Here is the entrance to the building. It was actually really easy to get the driver's license. You need a copy of your international driving permit, a small picture passport size, and to pay 25 US dollars, which you can pay in cash or on your credit card. And you will fill out a form after filling out that form, you will wait about 10 or 15 minutes and you will have the Sri Lankan driver's license printed out for you to take with you. Here's a copy of what our driver's license looked like. After getting our driver's license, we grabbed a tuk-tuk and headed over to the Clock Inn Hotel in Colombo to spend one night. So here's a video of our first room in Sri Lanka. Sometimes we don't always get the best rooms and this is one of them. I'd like to show you my door lock to start off with. This is my door lock. Yeah. The bathroom had really nice faucets, brand new faucets. Um, it was okay. It was okay. Here's our room. It's very small. Um, the sheets were clean. The bedding was clean. This is our view out the window. This was our lovely view. Look at the ocean. Yeah, the mountains. yeah, very Can you nice see view. Them? Uh, yeah, that's about it. The air conditioning was very nice except for the two hours that it went out between 9 and 11. 
but Sri Lanka is having uh, hydro shortages right now. We just weren't told when that hydro shortage would happen. That's what we paid for $32 tonight. We're in Colombo, Sri Lanka. It's after 10.30 p.m. and we found a little cafe across the street and we're having our first Sri Lankan meal. Uh, rice, and, rice and beef. Rice with beef chunks. Unmerkable. How was it, Vern? Right. Really good. Is it? This is curry soup. Um, but it was a sauce, but it's a soup. So, yeah, it's really good. Not too spicy. This isn't spicy at all. I have to know spicy. So, yeah. What does it taste like to you? Fried rice. finished night number one at the clock in in Colombo and had a little bit of breakfast we are now on our way to go find bus number 100 to take us to the bus station to take another bus to take us to Hekadua that will be stop number one we're on our first local bus ride yeah. <laughs> got my arm out the window flexing for people they love it Bus number 100 took us to the main bus station in Colombo, and now we're searching for bus number two, which will be an air-conditioned bus that will take us to Hikadua. taking us to Hikadua. That market is very busy. I would have loved to walk through there. The main road traveling down the south coast is all along the ocean, so the entire ride is beautiful. There's always something amazing to look at. We were lucky enough to find a restaurant that had a generator so we were able to have supper. We had devil chicken and I had teriyaki chicken. It was $3.34 Canadian. And here's our first Sri Lankan beach dog. Vicious as ever. Hey buddy! They're vicious in Sri Lanka too. Vicious in Sri Lanka too. Hey bud. Thank you. 